Well, so this is the wrong side of the tracks in Elfville or whatever. They got a sign. Can I read it? Hovel. E to rent? Dude, I don't want to rent a broke down house in an elven ghetto. Leave me alone. Hey guys and gals, it's story time with Legend Eternal, and we have a very special bonus episode for you today. We are looking at a brand new game called Dark and Light, and guys, I am super excited for this game. It's put out by a company called Snail Games, and you may not be familiar with that, that company, and I wasn't either before this game came out and I started looking at it. Snail Games, I believe they're based in Asia, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But they are the company that acquired Wildcard Studios. And Wildcard Studios should ring a bell with you if you're a diehard survival game fan like myself, because they are the ones responsible for ARC. And they have been acquired by Snail Games. So this game is actually does look like it uses a lot of the framework of ARC. But this game is set kind of in a, a fantasy world, uh, so it's a it's that type genre, which is actually my favorite. You know, I mean, I've, I've read fantasy books, played fantasy games since I was a kid, and so this brings together really two of my favorite things, which are survival games and the whole fantasy world, into the perfect storm of an entity called Dark and Light. And so I'm really looking forward to it, guys. This game, I think, is going to be huge. It's going to be huge with me because I'm having a blast playing it. What little time I've spent on it so far. I spent a few minutes on it, and I'm like, I got to get this on my channel. I got to show it to the, to the peeps. They will really enjoy this. So with all that being said, let's, kinda, let's get started. We're going to create a new character. Oh, before we do that, this is the map on the screen. You've got this big land mass and it has the elves that are based down here in kind of the river forest lake area the humans are over in this area there's their little castle down in a look like a river delta or something and of course the dwarves they're in their mountain like they always are also so you see some other islands that volcano island that's probably some late game stuff and uh, looks like some little dragon skeleton on a island there some other stuff but we'll get to all of that but right now let's create our character and yes we're going to delete the character we were just messing around with so we have our three factions here we have the talos which are the humans in the hilltop keep and you can read all of that if you want i can't seem to scroll down through here but anyway we have estelle estelle the elves wilderness paradise and we have the dwarves that are in their mountain stronghold where dwarves always are. But we're gonna play the elves because I kinda like the whole magic thing. If you click on each of them, it shows you where their little base is on the, this, the map that we saw earlier. And again, we're gonna be the elves. So let's get started with that next. Wow. How you doing? Yeah. Um, very, very nice looking character art. Um, we're not going to play a female, though. I mean, you know, this being a third-person game, yes, yeah, some parts of it might make looking at a female a little bit better. But we like to play we like to play dudes because we are a dude, and or I'm a dude. All my viewers aren't dudes, and I have nothing against women whatsoever. But when I play a character, I like to be a guy because I'm a guy, and you know, whole masculine thing. Now, they character creation is, is pretty is, is pretty detailed I mean you can do a lot through the head all the ear face nose mouth all of that stuff facial hair 
And you can also adjust the body. Well, we didn't want to see that that up close. But to save some time, I've already created a template and we're going to be this guy right here. We went with a short hair because I didn't see any real long hair styles that I liked. So we're a short haired guy. We're kind of tall because elves are tall. So <clears throat> anyway, let's get the game started. Who are we going to be? We're not going to be named Elf. We're going to be named Legend Eternal. And so let's get into the game. And we have Alicia comes up here. She's Archmage, Order of the Dark and Light. And she's going to tell us kind of what to do. Now, she talks fast. All this writing over here disappears before I can read it. And I mean, I'm a pretty fast reader, but she, she it disappears quick. Luckily, the quest uh task are still down there so she wants us to harvest blueberries magic shards and stones and we can do that by running around here hitting these plants now uh, we're still short on stone come on go there's one we need two more i'm not sure how we get stones by hitting plants but hey we're not going to ask any questions Okay, we got everything she wants us to harvest, so now she wants us to craft a ruin of light. And she says to access her inventory to do that. So we're going to hit I, and here's our schematics that we know. Right now we only know one, the ruin of light. Now this game uses schematics, kind of like the Ingrams, but you don't have to purchase them. You can actually, when, once you complete whatever task or directive, or whatever prerequisite, then you automatically get them. So we're going to craft one of those just like Alicia wants us to. And now we've got Ruins of Light right here. And we're going to throw those down. Let's put it in slot number eight for right now. And luckily, luckily they, they do, they have a secondary and primary tool belt which you could switch between using the alt button. Kind of doubles your hot bar. That's a nice little feature. I like that. Okay, so we got the Ruin of Light, now we can cast it. We'll hit the 8. And we get a little Light Fairy to sit on our shoulder and light things up. Now, we didn't really need that because, you know, it's bright daylight right now, but nice to know that she's there if we need her. So now Alicia says, eat blueberries. All right, whatever you say. We can hit I, go back to our inventory. There's some blueberries. We can put them in our hot bar and eat them, or we can just right-click them. And we'll eat three of those. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, rank up melee skill. And so that's a little bit vague. And, you know, we may not know how to do that, or Alicia may talk too fast, or words disappear, and we don't know what to do. If you also look under those tasks that we have to do, you can see I for inventory, U for skills, O for tasks. So you can get, hit that O, and you can see what task, there's the groups right there and the individual tasks are right here. So we're down to this one. Um, we get a Ruin of Light. There's a reward. It tells us every action you do, you can access your skills you and see what action is needed to reach rank one of melee crafting. So we'll back out of this and we'll hit you. Melee crafting is what we're trying to rank up and we need to gather stones, craft tools, or craft melee weapons. Well, we can't craft any tools or melee weapons yet, because all we know how to do is ruin of light, so we will harvest stones. And we can do that by keeping on punching stuff. There we go, we ranked it up. And guys, the settings on this, this is single player, run it on my machine, I'm not on a server, and um, I've got harvest turned up a little bit. It's either one and a half or two, I can't remember. Um, we also have experience ranked up, uh, boosted uh, one to 1 1.5, just to help things move along a little bit faster. We have daylight longer than dark and kind of sped up the nighttime. So, next task, Alicia wants us to craft a stone axe. We go to our inventory, we have the Ingram. We got that from ranking up our melee. We're going to craft us a stone axe. Nice. We'll put that in slot number four. You guys watch me play anything. You know I like my ranged in one. 
melee weapon in two, pick in three, and axe in four. So we're gonna keep that going because that helps me remember where stuff is. She wants us to equip it. All right, Alicia, we'll equip it. Now she wants us to harvest some apples and some wood, and we can go do that by chopping on some trees. So let's run up here. And now he starts panting. He starts panting every time I run, and it gets on my daggone nerves. I mean, you know, it's not even, see my stamina is not even a quarter of the way down. He starts panting. So let's chop on this tree. We got some wood. Got an apple. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, we unlocked a sorcerer's staff, but we still need four more apples. Can I get some apples from this big old tree? There's another one. Come on, more apples. Okay, we got the apples we need. We'll finish up the tree. And she says she wants us to craft a sorcerer's staff. So let's go back into I. Nice, little twirly top there. We're gonna craft her. Got her sorcerer's staff. We'll put it in our range slot number one. And what do we do now? Craft a draining spell. And it, this is kind of confusing to me anyway how these crafting the spells work okay we craft one now what I do with it do I drop it on the staff no okay but she says we need to equip the sorcerer staff and equip the draining spell so I'm not sure how we do that did, did that give me the draining spell it says I equipped it. See, equip a draining spell is marked, but the equip sorcerer staff isn't marked. I think that might have be backward. Well, hell, my draining spell. Okay. And that's how draining spell. We got to equip it. Well, let's craft another one because that didn't quite register. Uh, okay, now it did. So we can use this draining spell to harvest. Oh, man. That's like... We're using a force or something. I feel like a Sith Lord. Feel the power of the dark side. Luke, I am your father. Your lack of faith is disturbing. Wait, I quoted that wrong, didn't I? Yes, I find your lack of faith disturbing. Come on, get your Star Wars quotes right, legend. Okay, now we want to eat flowers, and this is supposed to give us our focus back. And I didn't know we had a problem with focus. I think focus is that little icon. You see the lower right has several icons, and one of them is, looks like a little brain. And I think that's focus, and it's down just a little bit, and it goes down from using magic. But you can get it up, supposedly, by eating these flowers. So she wants us to eat three of them. One, two, three. Okay. Now she wants us to reach a new player level. Well, how do we do that? We can harvest stuff, but that's a little slow. Let's see what we can find out. No, there he goes, panting again, dude. Seriously? Okay, you're being way over dramatic about running across a bridge. Uh, what do we got? There's a oh, how did I do that? I just did some like ninja combat roll thing. How, can I do it again? Oh, don't get don't go don't get mad. These little rabbit guys, we can take them. We didn't like that. Okay, that's going kind of slow. Let's see if we can hack him with our axe. Take that. And one of those. And another one of those. Nice. Now we can harvest. Ooh, we got some meat and fur hide. Sweet. Ooh, speaking of leveling up, if you look, we got level ups available. We can hit I to go back into our inventory. We're level three, so we got four upgrade points. And for each level up, it seems, from what little I played, that you have to take one in survival stats and one in combat stats. Survival stats, I mean, any of us that have played Ark or any other survival game really know that weight is the thing. So we took two of them there, now we gotta take two of them up here. I like mana, that's more magic power. Not sure what constitution does. 
I think it may be some resistance to cold or something. I don't know. If anybody knows, uh, leave that down in the comments and we'll do help. Now, let's see if we can find something else to beat up on. They look way too mean for us with our little axe. There any more of them little rabbits around? Wasn't there another one over here? I don't see him. I thought I saw one. Ooh, a sheep. We can take a sheep out. We got our axe. Wapa! Oh, right clicks like some big super elk too. Get that. Get wrecked. Get axed. Oh wow, you're a one tough sheep. Ooh, you just hopped over a rock. Ah. So let's harvest this sheep. We got our level. We're gonna get the meat off of that sheep. And now Alicia says she wants us to scavenge gold from barrels, which I guess we gotta go to town to do that. We're gonna take constitution even though we don't know what it does. And we're gonna take another weight. And we need to head back to town and find some barrels. Whew. Dude, quit all the panning stuff. That's getting on my nerves. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm really digging this game so far. Now, a lot of people were saying that they were having some problems with frame rate and whatnot. Guys, my machine is not super dupe. I mean, it, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm running a 980 Ti with um, a four gigabyte processor, uh, 32 megs of RAM, or gigs of RAM, I believe. Um, and I'm not having an issue with it. I mean, I'm running at everything at Epic. And well, that was kind of framey, but in general, it's running pretty smooth. I can't complain. Ooh, there's some barrels over there. <laughs> we punch them. Got an apple. Got an apple and a coin. Ooh, got some something. More coins. Oh, we're about there already. Get some. Okay, we need some more barrels. Was that a barrel? No, that was just. Oh, there's some. Wapa, wapa. Okay, now she's telling us that we need to harvest wine and sulfur ore and magic shards okay I think we can get sulfur from these rocks oh, ah. but melee crafting went up again oh we can make a sword and a pickaxe nice let's go do that right now stone sword yes please and the pickaxe let's go ahead and get that too Sword goes in our melee slot number two. And pickaxe goes in three. All right, we're rocking it now. Let's look at this sword. Wait, that's a staff. That staff looks pretty cool. Oh, nice, stone sword. It's got like glowing glyphs on it. That is one bad mama stone sword. The pick, eh, not quite as impressive. Let's pick this rock. Oh, we get a lot more sulfur from that. It ranked up fire magic, ruin of warmth. Oh, that'll keep us warm at night. Oh, we're getting pretty close on sulfur. That pick's the way to go for sulfur. Let's get some more sulfur. Oh, we got some copper ore. All right, we are sulfured up. Hey, we need to find another tree. We need twine. I know we get that from, from trees. <sighs> There's some trees. Ooh, you with the purple hair. You look kind of spooky. Now we're going to leave you alone. Uh, Ma'am, you do realize you're like in the stairs, like waist deep in the stairs? Just checking. Hey guys, you might want to help that chick out. She's stuck in the stairs. Uh. Oh, so this is the wrong side of the tracks, and 
Elfville or whatever. Oh, they got a sign. Can I read it? Hovel. E to rent? Dude, I don't want to rent a broke down house in an elven ghetto. Leave me alone. No, we're leaving. Well, we'll take your trees first. But we need to let's chop on it. That's wood and apples. Does the pit give us like that or something? Oh, it gives us twine. Oh, pit for twine. Come on now. Get picked. All right, we got all the twine we need. Let's get back out of here before they try to make us stay. Ooh, we are really, really, really thirsty. Uh, we need to get down to the water. Ooh, dude. Oh, dude. We can get down to the water by this bridge here. Then we need to get some magic shards. I think probably the best way to get those is like use our Jedi staff on some rocks and stuff. Because that seemed to suck a lot of magical shards out when I was using it earlier. But we hadn't gotten any using the axe or anything that I noticed. I won't be able to get back up if I jump down there. Let's go to the other side. This looks like a gentler slope in. <sighs> yes, sir. But we can just look at the water down here and hit E, and we get us something to drink. Nice. Get back up. Dude, you have got to climb better. There you go. So let's get our staff out. We'll zap this tree. Water. Yeah, we're getting those shards now. Loving it. Um, we can use that on rocks too. There's a bunch of rocks over here. Oh, we're starting to get hungry. Die -ha. Let's see, we're getting, starting to get hungry and the berries really aren't cutting it. Let's look at our skills. Is you, I think, are the skills? How do we get a survival? Okay, we can get a campfire with survival and to, we gotta gather wood and hay. Okay, so we need to chop trees, but we need more shards first. So let's hit, find a rock and hit Hit them. Are you harvestable? No, you're not. Uh, more trees over here. Dude, cut it out with that patent and stuff. There's a tree. Get that. Okay, maybe we need to chop that. All right, survival rank one. Beautiful, and we can make the campfire. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of those magic shards. We can get those from these rocks. Suck them out using the force. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, she's got something else for us to do, but first, we need to find something or other to eat. Let's go into I. We'll make us a campfire. When that gets crafted up. Guys, do y'all mind if I like grill out right here? And you're not gonna shoot me, are you? There we go. Go into the campfire. We got some meat. Uh, we got a blueprint already in there. Won't let us craft it. Ah, we got to do this. We got to put wood in there. Light it. Now, craft all. Lovely. 
Uh, meat takes a while to cook. I don't think we have to be in it for it to cook. No, it should be cooking, right? Look, she's got a cool looking bow. Okay, let's go back in and hold E and hit search. If you just tap E on it, it puts a fire out. You don't want to do that. We're going to put our meat down here in the nine slot. And it does spoil in 19 minutes and 40 seconds to rotten meat. So what, do we need to make like narcotics and stuff? I think there is taming in this game. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is, because actually when I was doing the settings, I ran across, you know, a taming speed. I boosted it a little bit because if this is anything like art, we certainly don't want to go official rates. She wants us to earn some gold, and to do that, let's look at the task. Okay, right, we're done with the new world. We got all of those. See, all of those are completed. Beautiful. So we're on City Dweller now. And we've got the resources, but we need to sell them to the vendors. Seek out the vendors in the city market. Try to sell what you've harvested. I have hopes you can help our faction economy thrive and earn a place to rest your head at night. Yeah, night is dark and cold here. Ooh, more barrels. Can we just punch them? Ah, more apples. Let's go find us a vendor. Ah, oh, there he goes. Freaking out, panting again. Come on, dude. Get a piece of meat. Make you feel better. Is there a vendor in here? Oh, no, this is a stable. Oh, those are cool looking horses. Can I ride you? No, I gotta buy you. Oh, 85 gold coins. That's not bad. How many have I got? 29. Well, I'm not too far from being able to get a horse. Man, that would be awesome to be riding around here on a horse. Okay, this one's a little more expensive. Okay, apparently the, the higher the level, the more expensive. That makes sense. Ooh, we're going to have to remember that. We'll come back and get us a horse. I don't have anywhere to put it, but we can have one. You got a money bag over your head. Oh, so you'll buy our twine. This is what we can buy from you. Why would I buy rotten meat from you? Well, we can buy from him, but we can sell from him. I click in here, NPC sell. And we got 38 gold coins. And how many do you want us to get? 100? Wait, it still says zero out of 100. Well, well, why didn't I get credit for that? Is that not the right guy? Well, that's upsetting. Guys, if you guys know what I did wrong, am I supposed to sell that to a particular person? Does he not? The vendor I was looking for? Oh, wow. What's up? That was rude. Can I talk to you? Can I E on you? Are you just going to walk through me? Okay, we'll leave her alone. She's got stuff on her mind, apparently. So is there a vendor in here? Yeah, sure is. Raylith Willows. That's a nice name. And apparently I don't have enough blueberries or meat or mushrooms. Okay, looks like each vendor buys specific things, but... I, I sold the twine, and that was the thing that, that uh, Alicia Chick told me to sell. I sold it to that vendor over there, but I didn't get credit for that. Huh. Interesting. We hadn't got to use our sword yet. Why don't we run out here? We'll mess with them merchants later. Maybe I need to do a little research on that. Wait, what is that? Billboard, select king. Oh, we're, we're, we get to vote? Can I sign up? It's not the election time now, but I can sign up. 
you must be a tribe owner and your level greater than 20. Okay, so I'm, I'm not a big boy enough yet to, to vote, apparently. All right, I get that. Let's run out here and see what we can get into. We got our stone sword with cool glowing writing on it. There's another sheep. I wonder if he goes down quicker with a sword. He took a little while with that axe. Sheep, you work, weren't you? Wasn't there a sheep? Did I imagine that? Did you guys see that sheep? Oh, I did it again. How did I do that? I'm hitting something that makes him do a cool combat roll, and I don't know what. I can't do it when I try. What the hell? Oh, I hit stuff with a sword, I get flowers. Okay, well that's good to know, because I wasn't getting any with the axe or anything. I can just hit something with flower. Yeah, I get flowers when I use a sword. So we're gonna, I wonder what happens. Let's use the pick. We get meat and hide. What if we use the axe? A meat and hide. So maybe there's not a difference. There's the sheep. What the hell? Get wrecked. Ooh, we gained a level. Wow, she's level 12. Yeah, yo. That's... Oh, oh, man, I thought he was coming after. That sheep wasn't your buddy, was it? Gonna take out the stag? Oh, you're just gonna run. Oh wow, you're fast. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. We can take him. Oh, we don't hit back. Oh, yeah, he does. Ooh. Where'd he go? Move, rabbit. Ah, hell. Now I'm out of stamina. He's getting away. Dang it. Oh well, we couldn't catch the stag. We need water again. And I need to find a water skin or something. There you go. We did get a level up though. Uh, letting our meat's done. I just saw the notification we got a level in cooking. I forgot I left that meat cooking, so let's go pick it up. Feeling fatigued. We're going to pick that meat up, and that might do it for today. Hold, perch, oh yeah, and we got some charcoal and some wood. We're going to go ahead and put out that fire, save that wood. Ooh, spice meat, what do we need for that? It doesn't say. We'll figure that out later. So guys, I'm really loving this game. Uh, we had intended on replacing uh, landless current that had been in our Tuesday Thursday slot or Tuesday for Tuesday Saturday slot I'm sorry with um, a different game that I talked about in discord and um, I think we're gonna put this one in that slot I mean I when this game came out at first I was a little antsy about it but after i played it a little bit man this game is awesome i'm really looking forward to going through it i think this game is really going to blow up and it, it it's going to be something big guys so let me know what you think talk about it down in the comments talk about it on discord and um <clears throat> you should be seeing this on sunday it'll be an extra episode yes two episodes a day for or on one day from legend no it's not going to be common but uh this was kind of a special occasion with this game because i wanted to get something out pretty soon to you guys and i hope you enjoyed it so guys if you liked what you saw in this episode tap on that like button it really helps out the channel helps it to grow helps it to get seen if you want to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button tap on the little bell next to it if you want to get notified every time one comes out and let's talk about it down in the comments i answer almost every one of my comments and a lot of them get discussed in 
you on camera in the next videos. And if you want to join the Legend Eternal community, there are links down in the description to our Discord and our Twitter channels. And we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of great discussions, especially in Discord. We talk about gaming. We talk about recording software. And sometimes we just talk talk about what's going on in each other's lives. So hit those, hit those links down there and join us. We have a lot of fun. We'd be glad to have you. But this is the end for Legend. Much love and have a happily ever after. And we will see you in the next chapter. Bye now. Thank you.